Mrs. Trump is a strong and independent woman, White House explains why Melania hasn't reached out to Michelle Obama and asked for any help. Melania Trump asserted that she was a strong and independent woman and only seeks advice from her professional team in an apparent jab at Michelle Obama. Trump released a statement on Tuesday after the former first lady stated that her successor hadn't reached out, even though she offered her help. Mrs. Trump is a strong and independent woman who has been navigating her role as first lady in her own way. When she needs advice on any issue, she seeks it from her professional team within the White House, spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, said in a statement. The first lady's comments are interesting, however, given a hefty portion of her 2016 speech at the Republican convention appeared to have been borrowed from Michelle Obama. Obama claimed Trump hadn't reached out to her since becoming first lady in 2017 in an exclusive interview with Robin Roberts, which was teased on Good Morning America on Sunday just two days before the release of her highly anticipated memoir, Becoming. The book is part of a record-breaking $65 million deal she signed with her husband for their post-White House memoirs. Asked by Robin Roberts, had Melania reached out to her since moving into the White House, she replied, no, she hasn't. She also claimed that she and Flotus approach their roles in two very different when asked if she thought Melania was doing a good job. She added, you know, one of the things you learn as a former, it's, like, I don't judge what a current is doing, you know, so I'd prefer not to, you know, speak on what she's doing versus what I did, because I think every first lady approaches this job differently. In 2004, Barack Obama was already a rising star when he was asked to speak at the Democratic National Convention. By 2008, after a meteoric rise to fame, the senator announced his candidacy for president. Michelle Obama said that, although she had given him her blessing to run, she didn't think he would win. She told Roberts, I think I did what a lot of black folks were doing. We were afraid to hope because it's hard to believe that the country that oppressed you could one day be led by you, you know? I mean, my grandparents, you know, lived through segregation. My grandfather, his grandfather was a slave, you know? So this, these memories were real. And they didn't think the country was ready. And, and so my attitude was a reflection of that skepticism. The mother of two also told Roberts that the criticism she endured during her husband's campaign hurt as she was personally insulted and her patriotism was questioned. She added, I don't think we do each other a service by pretending like hurtful things don't hurt. And, that's what I've come to, I need to own that hurt. I need to talk about it. I need to put it out there for myself so that I can heal from it. But at the time, oh gosh, you know? I wasn't gonna allow myself to feel victimized from it because there was no time to hurt in that role. In Becoming, Michelle Obama wrote that she will never forgive President Donald Trump for challenging the legitimacy of her husband's birth certificate. In 2011, Donald Trump and other so-called birthers were questioning whether Barack Obama was a U.S. citizen. She has described their actions as crazy and mean-spirited. Its underlying bigotry and xenophobia hardly concealed but it was also dangerous, deliberately meant to stir up the wingnuts and cooks. In audio from the book, obtained exclusively by ABC News, Michelle Obama wonders, what if someone with an unstable mind loaded a gun and drove to Washington? What if that person went looking for our girls? Donald Trump, with his loud and reckless innuendos, was putting my family's safety at risk. And for this, I'd never forgive him. President Trump responded Friday to Michelle Obama's comments about him in her book, pointing the finger at former President Barack Obama. She got paid a lot of money to write a book, and they always expect a little controversy, Trump told reporters. I'll give you a little controversy back, I'll never forgive President Barack Obama for what he did to our U.S. military. It was depleted, and I had to fix it. What he did to our military made this country very unsafe for you and you and you, Trump said. Michelle Obama also writes about her reaction to Trump being elected president, claiming she wondered why women had rejected America's first female presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. She wrote, I will always wonder about what led so many women, in particular, to reject an exceptionally qualified female candidate and instead choose a misogynist as their president. It's amazing to me that we still have to tell people about the importance of voting, Obama told Roberts. On Friday Michelle revealed that she suffered a devastating miscarriage 20 years ago. Michelle also revealed that she and former President Barack Obama had to do IVF to conceive their daughters Sasha and Malia, 
now 17 and 20, explaining that, because of her age at the time, she was worried about being able to get pregnant naturally. The biological clock is real, egg production is limited she said on GMA. I realized that when I was 34 or 35, so we had to do IVF. In the book she reveals that she decided to seek out IVF treatments and began giving herself hormone shots. As her sweet, attentive husband worked at the state legislature, she was left largely on my own to manipulate my reproductive system into peak efficiency 